Hey YouTube, welcome back to Plan Build Play. In this video, I have a quick and easy off-grid solar install for you. So here are the parts I'm going to be using for this build. Uh, I have four 100 watt HQST solar panels. Uh, these are 12 volts. I have a couple car batteries just to temporarily store the power. Uh, this is more of just a setup to test that all my parts are working, my charge controllers and the panels, and then I'll have a more permanent install on the, the workshop later. I also have a 2000 watt uh, power inverter. This one's actually going to end up in my pickup truck at some point, but this is just to test out that everything's working. Then I have a Renault G 30 amp um, pulse width modulation uh, charge controller. I also have the Bluetooth module for this. This is just to see uh, how the panels are working and how much power is being collected. All this is going to be wired together using TED gauge uh, stranded wire. Okay, so I have my temporary wiring all set up now. I have my panel. Uh, these are just basically plugged into the connectors, the, uh, the 10 gauge wire. I haven't decided yet if I want to use these connectors or not, or if I'm just going to uh, cut them off and solder directly into the wire. For testing, I'm just going to plug them in and uh, touch, test each of the individual panels. From there, it goes to the charge controller. It goes into the panel input for the positive and negative. From there, it goes to the battery. I have those all wired up as well. And then into the inverter. Uh, normally, you're going to want to use fuses in all of these lines as well. Uh, just for t testing, I'm, I'm not doing that. Since these are going to be all disconnected anyway. Uh, if you do need a wiring diagram, the solar panels did come with one as well. So if you order these, you'll, you'll have the details on how to set it all up. Now I'm just going to be tossing this in the sun and testing out the voltages of what it's producing to my, uh, my multimeter. I do also have a test load just to see how much uh, the voltage drops when this is being run. Uh, this is about 3 amps, so about 350 watts. So if everything is working correctly, the four panels should be the four panels should be able to power it pretty easily. Okay, so just for testing, I disconnected the battery now just to see what the panel voltages are without that, without charging. And we are up to 22.4 volts. That's just with one panel going directly to the, the uh, charge controller. As you can see, the battery is disconnected just for testing out the panel voltage. Okay, so I have the charge controller hooked up to one panel now. Uh, the other three are still disconnected. Just to test out the voltages, uh, it's going through the Renogy Wanderer uh, 30 amp pulse width modulation uh, charge controller. And the voltages as you can see, are already jumping up. This was about 12.6 about a minute ago, and it's already gained 0.3 volts in climbing. Alright, so I'm going to give this a couple minutes and let the battery charge. Uh, while I'm doing that, I'm going to set up some wire leads for the other three panels and see how this works with uh, under full load and with all four panels running. Okay, so we're all the way up to 14.4 volts now on the battery. I have all four panels installed now. They're all running in parallel. So it should have four times the amperage with the same voltage. Now I'm just gonna run a quick load test with the fan running and see how this handles it. Hopefully it shouldn't drop the voltage much because this should be able to, uh, to power it easily with just the panels. And I guess it would help if I turn the power inverter back on. All 
All right, so it is dropping a bit. So the batteries are no longer charging, but it shouldn't discharge considering uh, the panels are 400 watts and the fan's only 350. All right, so it does seem to be holding. The batteries aren't dropping any more than that. And the panels are producing enough to run the fan. All right, so it's getting a little late in the day to run a full power test on this to see the uh, the efficiency and see if these are producing their maximum amount of uh, 100 watts that they should be. Eventually, these are getting put on my workshop roof, the building right there. And uh, after that happens, I'll run a more uh, thorough test on these panels as well as the charge controller. I'm also eventually upgrading to a 12 kilowatt inverter instead of this 2000 watt one. And that has a built in charge controller for 40 amps. And at that point, the panels will be run in, in series to run at 48 volts. If you're interested in building a bigger solar uh, setup, check that video out when it comes out. Uh, but if you're looking for something small like a RV or camping, uh, four watt or four panels should be plenty to to keep you going. Now, without the the fan running, we're all all the way back up to 14 volts again. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more. If you have ideas for videos, toss them in the comments.